Tonight, the FBI is asking for help investigating the breach at the Capitol. The D.C. police have released pictures of persons of interest that they're still trying to identify tonight. D.C. police have made 68 arrests so far and recovered six firearms and two pipe bombs. Tonight, Fox 59's Courtney Crown is talking to a cybersecurity expert as this investigation unfolds. Asaf Lubin, an expert in cybersecurity and law, explains police have lots of evidence available to them to figure out who instigated violence and vandalism in the U.S. Capitol. Much of it won't even require a search warrant. All the individuals were literally entering into a building, many of them without face coverings. There's a lot of CCTV cameras out there. You've seen pictures and video taken by people on the scene of instigators. The U.S. Capitol Police say in a statement they will be looking at these elements and posts on social media. They were gloating about the, their actions, taking selfies and taking um, uh, video footage. Police arrested dozens of people connected to the riot. Even those arrests alone could be utilized to, to engage in some basic interrogation and, uh, and asking questions and, and learning more about the people you were with at the scene or relying on footage that you have taken while there. Lubin predicts complex discussions about policy and online platforms will intensify in the wake of the rampage, mainly around the idea of protecting civil liberties while curtailing harmful speech. We need not be too reactionary in a way that kind of uh, puts to the sideline concerns about about civil liberties uh, and 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 indeed in the in the wake of the 9/11 incident we saw some of that. He also hopes great care is taken toward defining the crime of domestic terrorism and why and when someone may be charged with this crime. This is the kind of thing that will require deep investigations, um, both in terms of developing policy moving forward and in terms of. Uh, the individuals being charged here um, and, and the specific charges we bring up against them and say the utilization of stuff like domestic terrorism in this context. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. Now we have posted a link to the pictures of the specific people of interest that D.C. police are searching for tonight. Those are on our website so far. The list of arrests do not include any Hoosiers.